in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed
lift your hands and just declare your total surrender. Powerful song, very deep song. Takes an encounter to understand the depth of this song. Lord, we do not hold back anything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're still going to sing this song one more time. And I want everyone to be in a mood of serious worship in this place tonight. Hallelujah. We're not just, this is not just for fun. Hallelujah. I didn't even rehearse with them to know what it is that I want to share this night. Hallelujah. So inside and outside, I want us to take a moment of deep worship. Can you take it higher? We're going to sing this song and that song I give myself away. I want you to flow and worship. I want us to lose ourselves in this place because there are many things that we need to let go tonight. Many things. Your troubles, your sorrows, thoughts of marriage, increased success. Just let it go tonight as we worship. Forget about every load you brought tonight. Lord, we surrender.
Go ahead and pray. Say, Lord, I release everything. I release the pain. I release the disappointment. It didn't work out as I planned, but you are still God. It didn't work out the way I expected it. I thought the admission would have come, but you are still God. The marriage didn't come as at when I expected it. The business didn't work out, but you are still God. My ministry did not experience the increase, but you are still God. Come on, break open in his presence. Tell him, Lord, take this pain. Release your everything in his presence. Inside and outside, make sure you participate. The Bible says, laying aside every weight. There are all kinds of weights in this place tonight. Challenges in our families. Your personal progress in life. Your academics, your spiritual life. Come on, just pray it away. Pray it away. As you pray in tongues, let it go. There's no money in your pocket, but there is something at work in your spirit. There's no money in your bank account, but you are still more than a conqueror. Something bad happened to you, but his horn is still exalted in your life. Job said, Though he slay me, yet will I praise him. He said, All the days of my appointed time, I will wait till my change comes. Till my change comes. The wife said, Do you still hold your integrity? Why don't you curse God and die? And he said, Why do you speak like these stupid women? Though he slay me, yet will I praise him. I choose to praise you. I choose to worship. It's a decision. There's no reason. I may not give any reason for it. But I choose to worship. We worship you. Let all the earth worship him. 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 His presence is mighty in this place. Just worship him. He's your maker. Many of you may not understand what is going on in this place. This is called koinonia. It's an intimacy. The more I know you, the more I want to know you. The more I see your face, the more I want to see it again. The more I hear your voice, the more I want to hear it again. The more I hear your word, the more I want to hear it again. Jesus, more. Of you, Jesus, more of you. Come on, sing, Jesus, more of you, Jesus, more of you, Jesus.
express your love to your maker we're almost losing the art of worship in the body of Christ we have done well with prayer this is the secret the protocol of his presence Jesus, more of you. Jesus, more of you. Jesus, more of you. Jesus. Hallelujah. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever. Lord. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you, Lord. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever. Lord. Sing, I'll serve you, Lord. I'll serve you forever. about my many struggles but by your spirit and your grace I'm confident you'll solve them but I'm here to say I love you I'm here to say I adore you that's why I'm here tonight. To say, I love to love you, Lord. From the bottom of my heart, I love you, Lord. Come on, sing it. It's from the bottom of my heart, I love you. Sing, I love you. From the bottom of my heart, sing, I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. From the bottom of my heart, sing, I praise you. Sing, I'll praise you. Lord, you reign forever. Lord, you reign. I worship you. I worship you. Sing, Lord, you reign. Holy, 
A lot happens when we worship Him. It's a sacrifice of praise. Oh Lord, we feel your presence mighty in this place. And we give you all the praise. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. There is none beside you. Mighty and majestic, the multi-breasted one. there like you oh lord you who created us come on worship koinonia in your likeness who is there i'm telling you i feel the presence of jesus in this place oh lord i know when his presence shows up it's an honor, Lord, to stand and worship. Come on, we lift our hands. We lift our hands to the great I am who was and who is and is to come. I lift my hands to the great. compare with you who can compare one more time I lift my hands I lift my hands to the great I am who was and who is and is to I lift my hands to the great description you're too marvelous for words you're too wonderful for comprehension I'm worshiping him like nothing ever seen or heard the presence of Jesus is in this place who can grasp your infinite wisdom? Who can fathom the depths of your love? You are beautiful beyond description, majesty. And thrown on high. Come on, sing. I stand. I stand in awe of you. I stand. I stand in awe of you. Lord, I stand. I stand in awe of you. Only God. All praise is due. I stand. Hallelujah. Make my life that it be the temple of your spirit. And let my spirit fill the world of your embrace. Let me be 
a holy habitation sing it from your heart where your spirit is pleased to dwell oh lord i want to know i want to offer a sacrifice of praise this that you are walking in the midst of your people Jesus is in this place not the Holy Spirit not angels I know when his presence is in a building Jesus we thank you we pray make your presence known Father make your presence known Lord Jesus, make your presence known in our hearts. This is what I pray tonight. I pray, make your presence known. Make your presence known. Make your presence known in our hearts. We thank you for your presence. You have come to reveal yourself to us. And we embrace that presence. Walk among us tonight. Walk among us tonight. Plant a fire in our hearts. We choose to honor you with our lives with our hearts and everything that we have we're not in a hurry Lord we bless you for your mighty mighty presence I'm telling you the presence of Jesus is in this place I know he's in this place The spirit and the bride say come. The spirit and the bride say come. Let your will be done tonight. Let us see your face. To see your face. Once again. To hear your voice. Once again to see your face once again 
once again in the glory I will stand I will stand and lift my hands in the glory I will receive every miracle you have for me in the glory Elohim Madonna Elohim Elohim Madonna Elohim Elohim Madonna Come on, go ahead and pray in tongues. There is a ladder we are climbing in the spirit tonight. It's a night of encounter. We will sing in the spirit. For who shall ascend unto the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? Sakata praga da bala da ba ka sa praga da bala da ba sh. Sakata praga da bala da ba sh. Sakata praga da bala da 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 ba sh. Raga da bala da 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 ba sh. Sakata praga da bala da ba sh. Sakata ka ka prash ka prash da ka ba da da ba. We ascend the hill of the Lord. Sakata prata ka ta praga da bala da ba ka ta praga da bala da ba. Forget about your weakness of your body. Sakata Pratas Kalabash is the protocol for an encounter. Is the protocol for an encounter. By tapping into the laws of the spirit that will open us into the fistas of his presence. Sakata Pregadeva Nadabash. Edify yourself in the spirit. Mata press kaban de brea. Activate your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit. Sata kata praga te na ba da ba da ba si da da ba da da ba. Shika te praga da ba da da ba da te praga da ba da da ba. Mata prata kata ba da da ba. Is the law of the secret place. Is the law of the secret place. Mam prata kata prata kata na ba. When you seek Him, you will find Him. Sata kata para te para te ba na te ya. Sina na ba re kate ba na ba ba na ba ba na ba 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 ba
the Spirit of God is mighty outside. Charge your spirit, man. Activate your capacity to comprehend spiritual things. Let him arise above your needs, above your accolades. of your presence. Expose yourself to that atmosphere, that Shekinah, the glory that changes, the glory that transforms in the glory where seed time and harvest coexist together. His name is Jesus Christ. He died and rose and gave me victory. I have been. Come on, sing. We're just going to press a little further. We are served. We're not serving an idol. Is there? Is Jesus? Miracles are already taking place as we're worshiping. He died and he rose. With the name of the Lord. Father, tonight we desire an encounter. Open us up to portals, realms, vistas in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open us up to these deep dimensions. Pass me not, O oh gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Sing it, Savior, Savior, Savior. Care what they are. All of the ground is on Christ, the solid rock. All of the Father, 
Father tonight reveal yourself to us show us something about you that we have never seen put a fire in our spirit let there be a displacing of everything that has taken your place in our hearts in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah just sit as quiet as you can no distraction let's keep this atmosphere as solemn as it is Jesus is in this place I want to share with you a few things tonight that I believe will change our lives remarkably tonight is a night of encounter I'm not here to preach tonight tonight is a night of encounter there must come a point in your life where you will encounter God not just to be taught about him just sit as quiet as you can and let's let the Holy Spirit pick us in this atmosphere there is a flight in the spirit Psalm 63 I want to share with you a very powerful mystery tonight is a night of encounter the Lord told me this tonight is a night of encounter many of you tonight will be caught up into heavenly experiences I told you tonight is an encounter many of you will see things you have never seen before many of you will hear sounds that you have not heard before help us tonight Psalm 63 Psalm 63 Psalm 63 O oh God Thou art my God Early will I seek Thee My soul thirsted for Thee My flesh longed for Thee In a dry and thirsty land Where there is no water Verse 2, to see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary, because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Hallelujah. I want to talk to you tonight from the depths of my heart. I'm not really preaching tonight. I want everybody to listen. Hallelujah. Lord God Almighty. You know that song? Holy. Holy Lord. Lord God Almighty. There's only one word to There's only one word to describe And only one word comes to When you truly stand before His presence Only one word to describe mm -hmm. holy that's the word holy lord lord god almighty holy Holy Lord, Lord God 
Hallelujah. Let me tell you a little story about my life. I have been very, very concerned about the way people are being built in the body of Christ. And every time I say this, people misinterpret it for pride or arrogance. But the way God trained me is not the way many people have been trained in the body of Christ. And I know that something is wrong. Hallelujah. There is a lot of jumping of processes in the progressions of the spirit. There is a lot of seeming principles of shortcuts to access authentic power and the presence of God to an extent that there are many people who claim that they are having spiritual encounters but there's nothing about their life so many people lie to us that they see angels and there is nothing there is no reaction in their lives many people tell us they see beings in the spirit let me tell you something if you see anything that is outside this realm something must happen to you hallelujah i want to share with you something very powerful i want to share with you how i began my journey in the spirit and how the holy ghost led me and you will see the reason why many people may never find god in terms of encounter there are many preachers lying to people many preachers deceiving people just because of they are not fake they are just not telling the truth hallelujah it doesn't take an encounter to speak english utterance is not the same as oratory you can get oratory by good education you know what utterance is utterance is the bridge between your encounter and the people you want to communicate it to the encounter is so deep you do not have the frame the framework of the lingua franca to help them see the other side of what you are saying and so paul prayed and said I've, I've, there is something in my spirit but how to make you see it pray for me that god will grant me an ability that is not human an ability to make you enter my experience as i speak to you this is what is called utterance there is a lot of powerlessness in the body of christ and now i know i'm not old enough and experienced enough to challenge many things yet let me tell you something i do not boast of knowing all the principles of church growth principles of prosperity principles of increase principles of training and mentorship and building people but there is one thing i know i know the protocol of an encounter this one a man did not teach me paul said i know a man 14 years ago in arabia whether he was in the body or in the spirit i do not know but he said that he saw things that were not permitted for men to utter there were things that john saw and he said seal this don't bring this the people do not have the capacity to take this depth of encounter seal it it's for an appointed time there is a lot a lot of theory and and these theories are not wrong but let me tell you when a man meets god when you hear him there is an anointing that brings you into his experience hallelujah that's what happened prophet samuel was a man who had encountered god saul came into that atmosphere when he entered an anointing compelled him into the prophetic all of a sudden he began to prophesy accurately the bible says he prophesied naked from morning till night and men looked and said it's Saul or oh, it wasn't because Saul was anointed there was an atmosphere that pulled him into that experience the presence of this man called Samuel hallelujah one time they came to capture the armies I mean they came to capture the prophet of God Elijah and when they came the Philistines I believe they, 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 they gathered around 
and he prayed and the servant was perplexed because see he was sitting in another realm his confidence was not of this realm and the servant was shaky and he said oh lord would you not bring this man into my experience let him see what gives me this audacity let him see what informs my confidence all of a sudden his eyes were open and he saw that them were greater than what they are see you will never understand a man's passion until you know what drives him until you see what he has seen until you hear what he has heard and the bible says moses was at the back side tending his father-in-law's sheep and he saw a bush the bible didn't say many people saw only one man moses and when he went there he had an encounter hallelujah there are so many people looking for power and and that's not wrong there are so many people looking for power they want the power to heal the sick they want the power to do this and that and that because according to their church growth seminar they were told that if you have power and you have results men will come to your church or to your assembly whatever it is let me tell you the truth i'm about to correct some things and set a right very very wrong when i began my pursuit for god listen to me i had no ambition to be a preacher whatsoever hallelujah if anybody would have told me that today i'll be standing taking the message of the kingdom i would never believe it hallelujah there are people already who sit down is part of their ambition they think it's a profession they are so desperate to start ministry they are so desperate to gather members they've not done anything they have the name of the ministry already they have the name of where the church will be i'm not saying what god gave them they sat down and pushed they have the name of everything their cathedral the kind of bosses that will come nonsense and they do not know the person that they are going to represent can i tell you something almost everybody god called was on his way running away from god's presence if you really know what ministry is hallelujah this is the reason why many people do not experience the presence of god and every time they find a man who has followed the protocol of an encounter they begin to bring all sorts of criticisms because certain possibilities do not exist in their life and they do not know that there is a price it's more than bible college it's more than theological seminary it's more than longevity around the church building hallelujah are you hearing what i'm saying i began to seek god with so much passion listen i remember i will never forget second of december 2002 i was sleeping in the night and a man walked into my room sleeping and all of a sudden i felt it not in a vision i was not in any vision i was i, I was i was conscious of myself and he tapped me I felt the tap of a man and I was alone I was shocked I was afraid all of a sudden I turned I didn't see any man but it left an experience it was as if it was like a force at once I knew things I did not learn I started crying until morning I felt I felt filthy I felt unclean practically unclean it wasn't because i was fornicating or doing any bad thing a presence a realm was introduced to my life that rattled my theology rattled everything that i had known for days i was crying i could not even eat let me tell you the truth i was sobbing and crying i was not in control of the tears I didn't understand the presence of God do you know because of that the passion that was in my spirit I got a notebook I still have the notebook I wrote a letter 
to all my friends my extended family in the village that was all i knew it was a letter on rapture that jesus was coming and everyone needed to pay attention that was all that i knew there was such a passion for souls not ministry not power not healing not deliverance not prosperity not money not influence souls the heartbeat of the father god hides himself in light he will give you a glimpse and hide himself so that you will look for him hallelujah i i always waited for the night time where everybody would go and sleep and then i would wake up and these encounters i kept writing letters i carried a bulk of my clothes i told my mother to give me a bulk of her clothes and a number of people i called my brother who was then studying in shika came home and we prayed on the clothes i drove down to an orphanage home i went to visit those orphans and do a lot of things i wasn't in ministry the bible says the spirit moved jesus drove him i didn't even know what the name of that experience was all i knew was that it was an encounter no one could deny hallelujah people would come around me and just sit quietly and within minutes they are sober and they are telling me the problems of their lives i wasn't a preacher i would study the word chapter after chapter i couldn't understand anything at that time i was having very serious eye problem i couldn't even look at light for a long time and i said if my eyes will come out let it come out passion i would cry and tell the lord reveal yourself to me who is this stranger that walked into my room didn't show me his face didn't know anything about the holy spirit hallelujah years before that time we had had encounter the baptism of the holy spirit and as very very small boys we did wonderful things we were not even conscious that the things that were happening were miracles it was dramatic js2 js2 i was made the timekeeper of the whole school because there was something exceptional about my life js2 every day pastor quarter to five somebody wakes me quarter to five without failing somebody will wake me i rang the bell five o'clock on the dot i want you to know that this the quality of christians that men of god are marketing and advertising will not stand the test of time they lack the impetus to endure hallelujah and after that encounter i began to pursue god i i had no business with ministry in fact let me tell you something pastor the first crusade that we had there was no name of ministry we had to come together and a jimmy told me what would be the name of this ministry now i said i don't know god didn't give me any name let's find something i can't even remember the name we use trinity something one kind of name like that just to be able to explain to pfn we are coming for a crusade and now i see a lot of people all around moving with bodyguards and moving with people claiming that they are doing ministry and they mentored the life of very wrong men of god who are out of the program of god don't use cars and suits and english and crowd to gauge that a man is close to the presence of god you will be greatly deceived motivational speakers park stadiums are they anointed but they park stadiums with people paying thousands of dollars to hear them speak it doesn't take too much to gather people hallelujah is someone hearing me tonight and i began this encounter let me tell you something i would pray for days i wasn't looking for ministry show me your face show me your glory oh god that's all i want 
a time came it was it was a matter of life and death i remember i would go to life way life way and then i had i had do you know i would be in the restaurant in community market immediately i finish eating there's one anywhere i hear them playing a tape there were christian bookstores around i would just go and sit down there i knew almost all of them i was hungry i spent my money on books books on purpose i will never forget writing an article about myself if i were dead that's what i wrote that was the article i wrote how people may come for my funeral come for this and that and that i did crazy things hallelujah at the back of Ramat, you know that bush there they started developing it now it was at the back of Ramat. that's where i would go and shout like a madman in the night saying lord will you reveal yourself or kill me don't criticize a man till you know the passion and the story behind the glory god never gave me any assurance that i'll be standing and listening to people but he gave me one assurance he said early will i seek you i will show you some scriptures tonight hallelujah i'll never forget dramatic encounters i was staying in Danfodio, and i remember what used to happen people will come to my room when they come to it was myself steve strings and andy amber said we were roommates room 155 old block people used to come in the morning in the morning i was a strange person i could be lying down and the next thing the moment i see an angel steve strings or somebody the moment he may just be playing the guitar and something happens the power of god is breaking out people outside the room are falling under the anointing it was a strange life i would climb on top of vet medicine there was one empty place at the very top in the night when people are sleeping i would sit there i had a chair and i would sit there and cry in the night and say will you not reveal yourself to me oh god Holy Spirit, I wait on you. Holy Spirit, I wait on you. Hallelujah. When I was staying in area BZ, I used to seek the Lord. I was staying alone. Well, with a roommate, but mostly alone. And this is where the encounters of my life took another dimension. I was broke. Sometimes I would not have money. But there was a guava tree in front of the house. I would go and plug the guava there and eat it and take water. And say, Lord, I give you praise. And I would lock up myself praying. And then at a point, listen to me. Certain things started happening in my life. I would be praying. I didn't even know it was called the cloud of his presence i stand before god and i tell you the truth i lie not a literal mist you know how vapor is that's how it will enter the room and i was being careful so that i wouldn't dabble into any demonic thing i had to search the scripture and i saw when the cloud of god's glory entered the temple and the priest could not even minister again it's in your bible hallelujah i'll never forget praying for somebody who had chicken pox god is my witness it was in less than three hours or so the person came back and almost 90 percent of what he had had disappeared and there was nobody to clap for me i didn't even know it was a spectacular miracle you know the problem with a lot of people there are too many people to clap for you when you have not done anything so it makes us believe we gather around a lot of people who are not passionate about God. I was seeking the face of God with all my heart. Then there used to be lots of fellowships on campus to do a lot of things. I would just go behind Sunday school building and sit down there. 
and I used the worship that was being played by several campus fellowships for my spiritual look let me tell you something this is the reason why you may talk about somebody and God will judge you at once because he has a track record of sacrifice there is there is it's like blood on the altar that speaks hallelujah when rain had bunker was coming for crusade i remember that time i went i've shared with you the story six hours i was standing no seat a pregnant woman was standing close to me small time the woman would lean on me i said madam I understand you are pregnant but this 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 whole thing i'm we're all tired here but i was determined my life is a testimony of dramatic encounters i started having all of these encounters and i'll never forget listen one night the longing of my soul was satisfied when jesus christ appeared to me i have seen him it's not because i read it in scripture this is why i can tell you with authority that many people who claim they have seen jesus did not see jesus there is nothing that left there was no deposit in their life if you see jesus even if it's for one minute something will enter your life that you will run with for a lifetime this is the jesus i saw when saul on his way to damascus met this jesus what happened to him a hardened criminal at once he broke down he called him lord saul was fasting for three days and three nights he was blind the presence of god made a man blind physically and there are people who claim they see jesus every day fornicating around seeing jesus stealing around seeing jesus doing all kinds of things they say they are seeing jesus that's not the jesus i saw that's not the jesus i saw for when you see him when zechariah saw just an angel an angel he made zechariah dumb an angel hallelujah when i saw jesus i was flat on the ground goodness I'm telling you I looked like a speck of dust in this majestic I could not believe that this was the man preachers were trying to represent when you meet Jesus it will change your life it will overhaul your priority about ministry it will no longer be an issue of denomination or an issue of sect an issue of I was this I was that when you meet jesus it will rattle your your whole theology to its foundation i felt as if i was a dead man i could not even see his face let me tell you the truth it was the brightness the i i i don't know how to begin to explain it to you and he stood there his robe was white it was not like physical clothes that you can see like this it was like clothes but it was like the clothes was attached to the person's body so it's not like something you remove and put back it's not our concept of clothes no hallelujah and light brothers and sisters light was emanating from him the christ and all he did to me was to stretch his hands towards me and he stretched that giant hand imagine like stretching an, an aircraft over a fly that was how it was and light light that i cannot explain that light came upon me i don't know how god did it that he did not kill me when i got up from that vision there was a fire in my bones that i will live and die for i've been captured by your love i can't explain now you have me and i'm forever changed i've abandoned everything i've ever known and i surrender 
This life is not my own I belong to you I belong to you I belong to you I belong to you nobody coerced me I surrendered my heart this one is different from coming to do this funny born again thing that people do in church people just march and come out lord jesus lord jesus and he's pinching his neighbor i surrender all i surrender all immediately he finishes the the boyfriend or whoever is waiting for the person and then they ask him are you born again and the brother or the sister they mean to say have you ever come out they say yes now i've even been baptized come on now let me tell you there are many people who think they are saved and god does not know them i know some of you will be angry for this statement i'm making christianity with no transformation impossible except it's not the, the christ that died for our sins hallelujah this was the vision that opened me up into ministry i had been seeing a lot of encounters listen somebody was pursuing me and i went and i stood somewhere in a room all of a sudden i was moved to look through the window when i looked through that window i saw an endless sea of people it was it was as far as my eyes could see and they were talking they were lamenting it was a crowd of people hallelujah after seasons of trainings and buildings and their sound started zooming to my ears and then eventually it looked like they zoomed those who were in front and i had them it was a it was a sound of languishing and pain it was not a sound of celebration the people were crying and languishing in pain and this was what they said they looked at me and they said there's no food and no water all of a sudden in the vision it became like i had the keys to the storehouse of that entire crowd of people I was holding the keys and i told them i asked them i said who is the cause why you do not have food and water and they said you are the one and i said oh my god i was moved with compassion i started crying and i told them i'm coming right away to help you but there were people who had chased me and i was afraid of them but i took the step to open the door when i opened the door there was a gigantic man waiting for me and he was in the similitude of the holy spirit he now held my hands and he said let's walk together i will walk with you in this journey are you getting the point then he began to walk with me we were to jump from building to building just like structures like you have the students hostel at the top from one end to the other and he jumped to the other side and he sat down there was a small ladder that connected the buildings and i was trying to walk slowly and he was looking at me and laughing and that was how i woke up all of a sudden my life changed i would be in a meeting and would hold hands together just to share the grace quietly seated here and people in rows who fall under the anointing and i could not understand i would stay in the secret place praying and building people would come to look for me the way they will know i'm around is that a great distance before they arrive people would not be able to cross that circumference what is your experience like you who has already called yourself pastor what is your experience what message do you have to give your generation that's why we do a lot of copying and pasting a lot of copy and and all kinds of things we preach messages without power without transformation because they do not come from a depth of truth you're beautiful you're beautiful every time you see me worship him every time you see me do the things that i do let me tell you something whenever there is any seed of pride in me it doesn't take a long time for god to copy it. there are too many encounters in my life all it takes is for god to refresh any of them 
many of them breaks me down many of you do not have encounters that's why a man of god will keep moving he's falling but he cannot see there's no encounter to remind him of where he was coming from and you can begin to sleep around with members of the church enjoy prosperity when jeeps start coming and cars start coming whether you pray or not you preach well let me tell you the truth the army that god is raising is an army that understand the one they are representing they know him they've had an encounter with him that's the only condition to be able to die for him it's impossible to die for a man you do not know it's impossible to die for a man you cannot you cannot relate with angels bow before him is beautiful There have been so many encounters in my life one time i was in a vision and there was it was outside all the doors were closed all the shops were closed it was like a community and i saw people sitting down sick people all around and i was looking at them and i said where are the doctors where is the hospital these people are dying what is all this i was shouting speaking to the air the people were so weak and helpless they could not even talk to me and then i had a voice that spoke to me from heaven he said go and heal them go and deliver them hallelujah one time when i was praying i was worshiping for a season i began to sense an unusual activity of the presence of God in my life I would worship and pray and build myself listen I want to give you a very big key to my life and that night it was a very deep encounter with God hallelujah and while I was in that place of encounter listen the Lord spoke to me and he said from today I give you my presence as a gift this is what God told me hallelujah from that day god opened my eyes and i saw a huge angel i had never seen him and i said lord what is the name of this angel and the lord told me his name is called the angel of the lord's presence he said this is the angel that will walk with you the angel of the lord's presence hallelujah this is the reason behind some of these mighty manifestations that you see that a lot of people do not understand i have suffered for this anointing i've been criticized for this anointing people have called me all kinds of names my mother is alive she came here you have seen her my father is alive i grew up in the midst of people i didn't come out from a wilderness my life has been an open book from birth to death the bible says Oh Lord my God early will I seek you my soul thirsts for you it says to see your power and your glory this is the passion that is the missing ingredient every time I go for meetings after the meetings you see lots of people coming to kneel down oh man of God lay hands because we have emphasized impartations above encounters so people believe you can take a man's spiritual journey with one laying on of hands do you know that all the people that the apostles laid hands on and the patriarchs of old they had they they went through the wilderness together they saw certain things together the laying on of hands did not rob them of true spiritual experience hallelujah i remember my first encounter with a demon real physical demon listen let me share with you i'm sharing with you i'll put a few scriptures and we'll pray because tonight tonight god is going to give some people real encounters hallelujah it was in chapel one night i finished praying listen true story god is my witness none of these things i'm telling you are stage managed and 
the generator then they just made that generator there and i was just going to turn to the edge of it listen i saw a real physical demon i saw it with my eyes and he just shouted and told me get back that's what he told me before he finished saying get back i was already praying in tongues it was not premeditated and it just went vanished like that from that time authority came upon my life to cast out every kind of demon and devil anywhere brothers and sisters the ancient knew the value of encounters this is what we do not know especially preachers in our generation everybody just believes i have an occupation okay you studied mass communication or french and you don't know what else to do with your life you just say i sense the, the call of god upon my life now after nyse what will i do say, oh, yeah, try ministry now i say talk you were a very good bible study teacher you say truly i was they even gave me price you just go and dapple into the vineyard believing that you are going to be effective you think so go and ask the devil how herbalists are trained go and ask the devil how false prophets are trained Go and ask the devil how witches and wizards are trained. You think it's an ambition? It's a fraternity. It's a sacrifice with their life. They sell their soul to Satan. Those ones have collected the mark of the beast already. Hallelujah. That's why you can stand and tell the sick be healed and nothing happens. There is no experience. Demons are not idiots. They have followed the track record. Listen, something happened. There was somebody, when we started Koinonia, he was coming. He was in the occult. I'm sure one, I can't remember his name now. One young guy, he was in the occult. They used to come and sit when people started sitting outside. Quietly, they had seen me. This gentleman was sent. It's just that we don't, we don't share one tenth of the testimonies that happened. It will amaze you do you know what this guy told me i went on a retreat i remember one time i went on a retreat the lord asked me to go on a retreat 72 hours my eyes did not see light whether it was day or night i didn't even know what time it was at all whether it was three o'clock i kept everything 72 hours dry i'm not talking about this kind of fast that you take granite in the afternoon later in the evening you are you can't even wait quarter to six you're already peeling the orange the the type your heart panting after god not looking for power hallelujah do you know after i prayed and i finished that experience the day they brought the gentleman to me and i was about to pray this is not an issue of being oppressed that you are casting out the devil this is somebody that is in occult aware he knows you know what he told me he said sir we have been watching you and he said while you were praying he mentioned the place he said for 72 hours in the realm of the spirit their eyes were open and they were watching hallelujah and he was telling me how that they strike a lot of men of god it's like a spiritual meter that's why a man can be backsliding and nothing is happening it's the deceit of the devil to make you feel things are moving all right your prayer life has died nothing wrong is happening you are not even studying nothing else is it's like a meter it will keep going down 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 you will not observe it it will just keep going down one day the devil will hit you once this is the reason why you will see a great man people don't just fall like that brothers and sisters are you getting what i'm saying samson slept with a harlot true or false without prayer he went and removed the gate of the city that god is showing you mercy over your life does not mean he's endorsing your state he's challenging you to rise higher this is the message you will not find in church everybody tells people things are all right jesus has died wonderful you are now born again do everything just book in the name of jesus give him all the praise shout do everything you want to do and there's all kinds of madness and hell is raging war believers are not sensitive 
Hallelujah. One of the greatest assets I have in my life is not revelation, it's not understanding, it's my love for God. And it's like a cancer. And I trust God to infect you with it tonight. A love for God that nothing can take, not power, not anointing, not influence. People call me all kinds of names. I don't care what you call me. Apostle, daddy, mommy, uncle, call whatever you want to call me. That's that's your I thank God for the honor, but there is something that I've seen that nothing in time can take it away. Hallelujah. Let me show you two scriptures. I saw this scripture in 2005 and it changed my life forever. John 14, 21. Mighty God. John 14, 21. Let's read. One to read. Please, can we have it from Amplified? Do you have Amplified? Let's have it from Amplified. The person who has my commands and keeps them is the one who really loves me. And what's his reward for loving me? It says, and whoever really loves me will be loved by my father. Are you seeing it now? I want to show you the protocol of our encounter. And I too will love him and will show, reveal, manifest myself to him. I will let myself be clearly seen by him and make myself real to him. Is that in your Bible? There is a protocol. God does not just reveal himself to people because they are crying or because they are praying. Many people want to encounter God. Everybody cry. Even in churches, we hold all kinds of three days, one week revival. You see the poster, revival exclamation mark, revival two exclamation mark, and then another revival three exclamation mark. Revival, revival, revival. And you see the people who are coming for the revival, strolling around and coming to sit. And the man of God, who is now supposed to bring the revival, who needs revival himself, will now come with his, his, his prepared manual and talk all kinds of stories and people just nod. They say, mm, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and they now say it's time to pray and everybody just finds a little corner and is just sleeping and snoring. At the end of the program, they say they've held this year's revival. You know what a revival is? A revival is an awakening that keeps a city and the community stands still we don't read a lot of history we don't read a lot of where we are coming from the Welsh revival was so powerful that men will carry the newspaper as soon as they start reading the newspaper revival will start in their house what is our concept of revival the average young person in this generation cannot define what a revival is we have not seen it What is our concept of Christianity? What do we really want to achieve? Ask the average believer, why do you go to church? It tells you to go and worship. What is that? It's just because we grew up knowing that you are a Christian and it's good for you to go to church. Second Corinthians. Of First Corinthians, Sita Kapras Timbre Dijela Krosi Bahariya Dabala Daba. Lord, we bless you. The Lord is redefining someone's Christianity tonight, removing the things that are unnecessary. Verse nine, First Corinthians two, verse nine. but as it is written i have not seen nor ear heard neither has it entered into the heart of man the things which god has prepared for who 
them that love him not them that pray to him not them that want to serve him them that love god let me tell you this is the missing ingredient in the body of christ it's not rema we have enough revelation there are powerful men and women of god i attest to it in nigeria in africa in the world there are people who have explored the portals of revelation back to back what we lack is love and when i say love i don't just mean love by giving i mean passion and priority god has very little priority in our generation let me tell you the truth very little priority very little there are few parents the average parent in nigeria they believe in god but god is not a priority hallelujah ask the average young man what his pursuit is either to go to school or to go and serve or to get a wife or to get some kinds of things imagine imagine this is the whole circumference of our christian pursuit ask a man of god what are you seeking he tells you by the grace of god we should grow to ten thousand and fifteen thousand and then have our own auditorium have our own buses start making our own calendar then go on air is this our circumference of the pursuit of god I love him with my life he's my priority i'm obsessed about him and that has nothing to do with ministry it's my default state when i sing he knows i'm not pretending it i love him more than miracles let him take all the anointing from my life let him take the mean if god asks me pastor and tells me close koinonia close up here and i pack up everything i promise you to god who has created me this would be the last service that's the end of it everybody will feel bad everybody will complain and say why some serious people even say let's let's resurrect it you can go ahead and face god alone but i'll be so happy and i'll tell him lord what next if god tells me go and join a church or a ministry and be an usher i will do that gladly from the depths of my heart I, not minding anybody's recognition i don't want no recognition from anybody when you see god commit spiritual power to a man ask questions ask questions god is not stupid that's why a lot of people come oh god give me power i want to speak somebody sent me a text he said i cannot imagine how you speak and people fall i want it to i said go and ask god the guy felt disappointed go and ask god i'm not a herbalist i don't manufacture miracles in little dots of 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 oil and, and communion and all of that no we want to jump the process of genuine encounter and intimacy yet we want power that's why i question a lot of what we call power in the body of christ a man who has so much power without encounter is questionable but right now everybody is chasing power power prophetic power apostolic power miraculous power people keep hopping around i've given warning nobody should come and stand in front of my house waiting for any impartation i'm not a herbalist you can come for counseling you can come for koinania god will bless you listen i believe in the laying on of hands we lay hands and we do impartation for all the people but we must lead you into a of desperation and encounter with the spirit say amen two more scriptures let me tell you how you know that god is not a priority if you attempt to live without him it's a sign that you do not need him in your life whatever you can live without is not a priority to you are you getting my point whatever you can live without is not a priority Air is a priority you cannot live without it food is a priority you cannot live without it if you can live without god 
don't tell me he's a priority to you there are many of us outside inside you are looking at me right now you know between you and god that god is not a priority in your life you may even be in ministry you may be doing very well but is god a i'm not asking you whether you are born again or not i know you are born again i'm talking of a priority that if you are to delete many things in your life god will still remain hallelujah there is a law in the spirit jeremiah 29 <sighs> thank you holy spirit 11 to 13 we'll read it quickly because i want us to pray the lord wants to plant a fire in our hearts tonight and reorder our spiritual pursuit aright that beyond revelation we will love him for i know the thoughts that i think towards you we know this scripture so well thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end next verse then shall ye call upon me and ye shall go and pray unto me and i will hearken unto you here's the condition verse 13 this is a law in the spirit never forget it for as long as you live read it everybody want to read and find me when ye search for me with all your heart this is the law for finding god in the spirit you will never never have an encounter with god until your all seeks him if you just seek him with part of you if you seek him with an ulterior motive you will if you seek him because of business or marriage or money like many of us are seeking god god will give you the car god will give you the marriage god will give you all of these things we seek different things that god has we seek his hands we seek all kinds of things here is the law write it if anybody ever asks you what is the protocol for an encounter this is it you will seek me look at me let me tell you what it means to seek god to seek god is not to pray this is what a lot of people have been taught as seeking god prayer is not necessarily seeking god to seek god is not even worship because that's what many of us still believe to seek god is not to fast to seek god is to cultivate a desire that seeks to make him the priority of your life at any cost that has nothing to do with prayer it is when that happens prayer can be a machinery to help you get there fasting can be a machinery to help you get there worship can be a machinery to get to help you get there but in themselves they cannot give you i know someone and he's i think he's one of the greatest person i've met in my life people talk about kings of fasting and people who fast i know somebody who fasted he rounded up last year 400 days 400 days very quiet brother nobody even knows him around 400 days i had the privilege of rounding up his fast with him and i prayed for him and laid my hands when he finished the 400 days six to six for 400 days in my life even in history i'm not saying you should do it i'm just telling you that there are people like that yet you will still see that there are certain dimensions that he has not entered so it's not just about fasting people brag with fasting they they intimidate others with fasting they make it look how many days have you fasted one will say three dry your wet say dry another person said all kinds of things if fasting alone brought people into the place of power some people would have brought the throne of god to the earth and be sitting on it by now let me tell you fasting will not in its own just make god reveal himself to you the psalmist said as the deer pants after the water pools bishop oedeko said something he said if you want to know the secret 
of the hand of God in my life, you must know my heartbeat for God. I know a lot of preachers who do not have the heartbeat for God. I go for meetings and I talk with preachers. After a powerful service, they look at me and they admire deeply the things that God has done in my life. And when they come and sit down, 90% of them don't ask questions. They are just looking for an envelope. And they put offering and sign checks. Where is my PA? Bring check. And you, you sign it. You, you really think it will give you an encounter? I believe in giving and all of that. We've taught this there. And they just drop it. And they say, pray for me. When you meet a man of the spirit, ask questions. Don't just kneel down and say, lay hands on me. What was the secret of this glory? I know lots of preachers that teach well. But three days after they are teaching, people have forgotten everything they have said. But I know certain people, Reinhard Bonke is one of them. You meet him once, your life will never be the same. I remember when he came for a crusade, I think in Makodi. Dr. Paul Enenche said something. He said after the crusade, they should book the room and leave it 24 hours. The room that Paul Enenche slept in hallelujah and when paul uh, when 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 um uh, what's his name now the evangelist reinhard bonke when he left and then she said they should they shouldn't repair it he said all the people they should not come and make it they should leave it as dirty as it is and he came there and laid down on that exact spot and said lord just give me the hunger that you gave this man i'm not asking for power just give me his hunger that's how to pray that's how to receive that's how to encounter power you are looking for the wrong things the hand of a man the wallet of a man all kinds of things look for the heart for God that that man has and you've gotten the secret of his anointing this one you cannot receive it as an impartation you must desire and covet and pursue the Bible says there are many things that God has in store hallelujah something happened i think a week or, or two or, i think a week ago i was sharing with the students school of ministry hallelujah i wanted to listen to a message and i searched for it searched for it on on youtube i couldn't find it and i said lord would you help me and i slept it didn't take long when i slept i was in a dream and i went back to my laptop i listen to me true story and someone came and found the message for me and they played the message for me in the dream beginning to end so i woke up listen i had listened to the message and i remembered everything there are some things you see god do for a man and you'll be like god you are not fair god says it's not that i'm not fair this guy has attracted me with so much passion it's, it's a love affair that's why many people stop at the outer court they cannot eat the hallowed bread but there are some people what somebody is fasting for for 10 days god will carry it as a gift and give a man who truly loves him there are sisters cat walking all around hoping that one brother will get to see them whereas another gentle sister is just saying lord come let me use you lord i love you and i seek you with all my heart and in that seeking god will just wake a brother who is sleeping in the night and you just wake up shut out at god will say keep quiet this is not what we are talking about you see that lady she's your wife say lord please this is not the time god will say have you submitted to me or not say fire on. let me tell you the cheapest route to the hand of god is force his heart to come to your direction hallelujah that's the greatest church growth principle i know you can give people balloon and exercise book after service you can give them eclairs you can put all kinds of things put screens all around transport them to their houses if your heart does not pant after god let me tell you there are certain dimensions it's not demons god himself will stop you from entering hallelujah 
you will seek me and you will find me i listened to a very powerful um 26 minutes video about passion and hunger for god and one 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 asian was talking to the people it inspired me and blessed me so much and he gave an analogy he said if you if you lose a i think is it a 10 or 50 cents if it falls in the night a coin maybe 10 or 50 cents and it falls in the night will you look for it if you check it around and you don't find it a coin that is so cheap pastor will you spend all the night looking for it but if you have a check of hundred thousand dollars that they gave you not you and your friend and it disappears even if it's the realm of the spirit you will use light and bring it back into this realm so tell me is God a cheap coin for you that you search if you don't find him no problem any other thing matter some of us can begin to seek God until a man comes into your life or until a woman comes or until you make five points or until you get that job you hear people say I'm busy I'm busy you are not busy when your leg breaks and they hang it for three months in Shika no going anywhere you sit down there you are not too busy but the one who can protect and preserve you it's amazing how people claim they are too busy for God say I'm too busy I have an appointment go is it not when God takes you there safely I don't mind waiting I don't mind waiting I don't mind waiting on you Lord I don't mind waiting I don't mind waiting I don't mind waiting this was the secret of David look at a man called David see all the bad bad things that David did and it was as if God didn't see it go and study the life of David and see how many criminal offenses David committed in his lifetime every bad thing you can imagine stealing somebody's wife kill the husband huh? slept with Bathsheba and when the first child died he did repent he still had Solomon with her again at the temple shoe bread did all kinds of things yet hear the testimony God said he is a man after my heart that's why the guy accessed some realms he saw things that were not given for his dispensation to see it was David who sat down and his love for God he said how can I be in a palace like this and there is no house for my God although you do not need tents to dwell in but I will build you a house God said no you you're already a criminal you won't build me a house he said no problem God I love you I'm not offended I will put the money for my son and God said what kind of man is this there is a way you love God that God you you try to force God to be guilty if he does not bless you just love him don't ask him anything it's in his word he says any man that cannot cater for his family you make yourself the child then you come and make yourself like the wife of this one come on now you have placed God in a tight position that he must respond he called the nation of Israel the apple of his eyes try to touch the apple of a man's eyes and you will see how his hand will reach to you and slap you and the Bible says the right hand of God is power that's where Habal is got it that you, you can go to a burial ground have you heard those kind of stories a hand will appear from nowhere and slap you and the guy will become deaf so what about the right hand of God that is power when God stretches that hand Acts chapter 4 they said that you will stretch forth your hands when God stretches his hands it will clear the way the breath of his nostrils parted the Red Sea is it that God cannot save us listen I want to give us a food for thought and we will pray the way many of us treat God we are not sure whether God can come to our rescue or not what is a husband what is money what is a car 
brothers and sisters what is a house what is hiv that god cannot take it away what is ministry what is ministry that god cannot give you increase jesus entered a city and it was noised abroad what is a child that god cannot give you what are demons that god cannot keep them far from your life is the cause of on your life so great that god cannot help you are not the first to go through affliction ah i'm looking for money to marry it's just two months for my marriage keep quiet seven days god created the heavens and the earth how long does it take to give you money are you the first to get married or is your wife did she descend from heaven what is the special arrangement my child's school fees really you've not heard of people that god will stop from sleeping in the night to respond to those who truly love him i cannot tell you how many times people will send me texts in the middle of the night and say the lord woke me and said i must send you a seed i must send you recharge card and i said lord what are you doing to me i found a secret when you love him don't just seek to serve him yet emoji don't just seek to serve him yet seek to love him back up the name of your ministry whether it's, it's revival tower incorporated i'm not saying god didn't call you just keep it aside win the heart of god and you will ride on the wings of a dimension of his grace that you cannot experience or that you have never experienced before is someone getting blessed tonight this is a missing ingredient and so the apostle says it this way may the grace of our lord jesus christ we recite it after every meeting the love of god the koinonia the participation of the spirit let it remain with you i love god with my life this is the biggest secret i'm not the most gifted minister i'm not the most anointed minister i'm not the most eloquent minister i'm not the most intelligent minister i'm not the most experienced minister but one thing i can tell you ask god i love him oh i love him with my life and i love him with my heart i love him more than power i love him more than everything i love him more than all of this uh, this swan water and this bottle together with this serviette inside i love him more than this chair i love him more than anything marriage children wife husband mother father if you stand my way with god you already know you have lost that's the end of it do you love god that much god is asking you this question for when you do you will see power in your life you don't need to talk too much we just returned from university of ibadan and goodness what the lord did in that campus humbled me i have seen the hand of god and i see the hand of god week in week out but to see the humbling thing that 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 it was so humbling the wife of the commissioner of police of the state had to follow us to our hotel and stay there and we were talking with this woman till about 12 in the night she wouldn't go i had to be prophesying and praying for her and she gave her ipad for someone to record it she said my husband needs to see this this is the favor somebody has been sweating about sitting from morning till night in an office i want to see the commission of police they say see god he said no 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 i i know how we will do this thing because you think god wants your money i surrender all to you everything i give to you withholding nothing this will be our song this night withholding nothing tonight you will release that isaac withholding nothing withholding nothing sing i surrender all i surrender all to you everything 
talking with one of my friends one time and he said he calls me emoji he said emoji you are enjoying no i'm seeing your picture on facebook all the time ministry is sweet oh you are just changing clothes and i was looking at the person i said look at somebody i've not seen after one year look at what is in his mind you see that that's what is in his mind to him he's enjoying crowds money he said you are rich oh you hear that boss is carrying people and I, i'm in my mind i'm thinking what is what is wrong with this brother because to him he now thinks one kind of magic happened do you know that you came into this ministry because god brought you it was a law that compelled you to come there was no guarantee that you would come but there was a guarantee that if i seek him i will find him and when you find him he will find everything he has his power his wisdom his grace this is the secret rise up on your feet we are going to pray hallelujah david I'm come you're going to sing that song again we're going to sing and we're going to pray listen for many of you two prayer points just two prayer points tonight the first is the prayer of release you're going to be crying and say lord I love you but truly you are not yet a priority there are i i don't know if i have that passion tonight forget about titles i don't want to know who you are in this place just cry to god and the second prayer is going to be a prayer for an encounter an encounter an encounter go ahead Nothing. Sing from your heart, Lord. I'm withholding nothing. If you want the marriage, take it. If you want the relationship, take it. If you want my degree, take it. If you want my life, take it. If you want my ministry, my anointing, my money, I sacrifice it. My bank account, my anointing, take it all. I surrender Sing it from your heart Everything I give to you Now the Lord said unto Abraham, Abraham, take thy son, thy only son whom thou lovest, and offer him upon a mount that I will show you. You are going to pray. Prayer point number one. Lord, where is that Isaac in my life? That thing I cannot release and let go. Who is that Isaac? Where is that Isaac? What is that thing I cannot give you? Lift your voice and pray and say lord it belongs to you it belongs to you some of you may cry as you are laying it down but let it go tonight let the intellect go tonight surrender it to him I declare that you are above that job. You are above that job. You are above that challenge. There 
is nothing my God cannot give you. Give him your heart tonight. Give him your heart tonight. Some of you need to rededicate your lives afresh, outside. All the overflows. Some of us need to rededicate our lives and say, Lord, I'm coming back home tonight. I've strayed from you, but I'm coming back home tonight. Rolling nothing in. Hallelujah. There are some of us in business that took the place of God in our lives. You want to make money. Anyhow, you must make money. Others is ministry. You are now too busy for God. Too busy for the things of God. He's no longer a priority. Others academics. Others job. Before you got the job. Before you got the admission. God was a priority. Right now we are so busy for him. For others before you got married. When you were praying and fasting. And dropping offerings everywhere. Now the husband has come. Now the wife has come. For many of us is your health. When you were trusting God. Dying of HIV. Dying of cancer. Dying of a terminal disease. You sought God. But now that it has gone. There's no time for him again. We're holding nothing. Holding nothing. Hallelujah. Still praying. Number uh, prayer point number one. You are going to pray. You are going to say, Lord, even if you never bless me again in this life, you already have my heart. The issue of backsliding or complaining will never occur in my life again even if the breakthrough does not come come on lift your voice that was the secret of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego they said oh king we know that our God will deliver us but even if he does not deliver us we will not bow lift your voice and pray Lord I know you will bless me but I love you more than the blessing I love you more than my bank account. I love you more than my desire to be famous. Pray. Everything I give to you. With holy nothing. With holy nothing. With holy nothing. Hallelujah. Look at me. Job was at a point in his life where he was such a wealthy and a blessed man. The Bible says, Job testifying about himself. He said, In the days of my youth, when the secrets of the Lord was upon my tabernacle, he said, I walked upon butter and I sought honey out of the rock. He said, the young men saw me and they bowed their faces. The old men saw me and they stood up. That was the position of Job. And one day, the devil went to the Lord and said, is it for nothing that this man serves you? In other words, his heart is not with you. And God said, you can touch everything. Don't touch his life. Let me watch. And in one day, his children went, his cattle went, everything went and job sores came out of him dogs will come and lick his sores and his wife the first lady of a community became an object of embarrassment all the friends left him and the wife told job he said do you still hold your integrity do you still hold your love do you love god that much to be a fool you have become a talk of the town people have mocked you Job, you were a great man. Do you not remember when you dined with kings? And Job looked at her and said, Why do you speak like one of these stupid women? He said, Though he slay me, yet will I praise him. The Bible says in all of this, Job sinned not. It was not out of his mouth that he uttered anything bad. 
he said i know my redeemer liveth and the bible says job was in a predicament but he stopped focusing on himself and he was praying for his friends when job prayed for his friends the only other person that did that was jesus and stephen on the cross he prayed for the people stephen and the bible says god turned the captivity of job and he had double of everything children cattle what are you going through that is challenging your christian integrity let me preach to somebody for two minutes what are you going through financial challenge your academics you may be on probation right now you may even be withdrawn let me tell you all hope is not lost the bible says go weeping and yours for the night you wrote jam seven times and it looks like nothing is coming some of you are due for graduation but you've been kept again and again can i tell you something like job i want you to speak tonight that though he slay me yet will i praise him all your colleagues have gotten married and you're the only one who is not married all other people have gone ahead of you they are even laughing they said they sin and they are still blessed but you who has been righteous for years don't compromise your deliverer is coming i assure you god will ride upon the horse and come speedily to deliver you with holy nothing you may be married and it looks like your marriage is not working you're just smiling around but things are not working let me tell you your deliverer is coming some of you your homes are it's a place of living hell all kinds of war happened there father mother everybody some of you you are the only ones who are saved in your family and it's bringing a lot of challenge let me prophesy to you that if your heart is connected to god there is nothing my god will not give you the lord told me something years ago he said son if you will let men see me there is nothing i will not give you there is nothing i will not give you i have received things from god i cannot remember when i prayed for hallelujah the last prayer point and we'll round up tonight listen you're going to pray hallelujah and you're going to say lord give me an encounter that is bigger than the challenge i'm going through right now give me an encounter that is bigger than the success i've experienced so that whether my challenges or my successes they will not stand your place lift your voice and pray give me an encounter give me an encounter oh god lift your voice and pray give me an encounter open my eyes to see jesus open my eyes to see something bigger than my challenges open my eyes to see something bigger than ministry something bigger than titles give me an encounter that will create the impetus for my spiritual life no backsliding no going back pray i cry for an encounter open my eyes so god give me the vision of the night let me see jesus seated on the throne let me hear his voice let me feel his embrace yeah. you have my everything you have my everything you have my everything yeah, you have Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. You have my everything. You have my everything. You have my everything. Oh, 
you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart when you seek me with all your heart listen hallelujah listen we are still in a prayer mode the altar call tonight is very special we are still going to pray don't stop praying if you've never given your heart to the lord listen or you know that you backslidden as we pray you to run from wherever you are inside or outside just come and be on your knees and be praying there are people god is calling back you know where you used to be don't be ashamed you've never given your heart to the lord inside or outside as we pray right now please leave your seat come out here quickly come out here quickly lift your voice and let's pray quickly quickly don't wait for anybody to call you come by yourself come and cry before your maker cry before your maker cry before your maker say lord i'm returning home tonight cry before your maker I want you to cry to the Lord give your life to Jesus by yourself don't pretend it you are not reciting any poem this night cry out to God from the depths of your heart and say Lord I'm sorry I return home tonight let me tell you your friends can let you down your association can let you down why don't you give your heart to the one who will never let you down? Don't be ashamed of your tears. Don't be ashamed of your tears. Some of us did not even re realize when we left God. You didn't even realize when you stopped pursuing Him. It's not like you were backsliding. You didn't realize when success started taking God out of your life when failure started taking God out of your life those of you in front cry I know there are some of you inside and outside that should be here whether you are here or not cry to God where you are and say Lord I mean business with you I mean business with you I mean business with you beyond ministry i mean business with you i mean business with you i mean business with you i mean business he is supposed to come out and he did not come out he is supposed to come out i mean business with you Turkey Salama Salama It's called the Prince of Peace hey. Salama yeah. Hallelujah Leave her alone Be still, stand in one place now Turkey Salama Your time in this body is over Your time in this body is over now in the mighty name of jesus out of her now come out of her out of her 
Sir King Salaman. Out! Come out! The fire of the Holy Ghost. He make it his angels, spirits, and his ministers flames. Leave her now. She's free. Sir King Salama. 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 Salina Kabo Yabo. Your time is up. This is Koinonia. The mighty name of Jesus. Come out now. Out of her. Yeah, boy. Listen. Listen. The Lord is showing me an arrow coming from outside this country. This is what affected this boy. This thing has tied this gentleman's life. Leave him. Leave him. Come back here. Come back here. Now. Sorry, everybody. Come back here. Many of you, listen. Many of you do not know that wickedness is real. You have allowed films to, distort, to, to spoil your mind. If you don't take, I tell you, whatever is stopping, one of the things I will be doing tonight is breaking the curse of marital delay. Oh, the devil, it will answer tonight. Look at, it's already happening. Come out! Come out! This guy has a violent spirit. A violent spirit. The mighty name of Jesus. Every lecker hole you have over this body. I challenge you right now. You will leave him. The fire of God is against you. It's time for you to go out. Out of him. Out. Shall the captives be delivered and the prey be taken from the mighty. But thus saith the Lord. Let her go right now. Thou foul devil, come out, come out. So pray, take a pariada baladala. Sir King Salama, Salama, Salama. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you what the Lord is showing me about this gentleman. This guy, listen, listen, please. This guy has a very, very colorful destiny. But do you know what I just saw? From his head to his toe. How many of you have read the story of Lazarus? That's what I saw. And he was tied with snakes from his head to his toe. This is what I'm seeing right now. See? Do you know that the challenges many of you are going through is not ordinary? It's because nobody has told you. But tonight there is a God to set you free. This is spirit husband. This is what is stopping this lady from getting married. Out. Come out of her. Out now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your time is over. I'm seeing an army officer. I'm army officer. In the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Shake her taba. Brento prikata. Out of her right now. This is the spirit of lust. Go prosketaliada. Be gone. There is no hiding. I tell you something. See, the mistake the devil made was to allow you come in here tonight. 
I don't care whether you are wherever. If you came here tonight, if except God lied to us in the Bible, but if he told us the truth, there will be a performance in your life tonight. Sirkin Salama. Come out. Out of her right now. Salama. Salama. Listen. Let me tell you what happens in meetings like this. Some of you, because of this demon spirit, the one to start pushing you to go out or to run away, you, you better stay and let God help you. The devil is a liar tonight. Are you listening to me? Okay, I didn't finish with this guy. Watch what will happen to this brother. He's not looking at me. Oh. He's not looking at me. Just calm down. Stay in one place. I'm not speaking to him. Don't, don't worry. Stay in one place. You can't go anywhere. You come here. This is a, the head of a snake I'm seeing. Right to his foot. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Sets you free right now from your head to your toe. I lose you. I lose you. He's going to cough out something outside. Take him outside. He's going to go and cough out something. Sarkin Salama 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 Come out of her right now in the name of Jesus. Devil of darkness. Sarkin Salama there's someone that has a problem a heart problem heart problem that was your request heart something in your heart i don't know what it is the lord is showing me please remember i told you don't waste our time please there's a lot of things we have to do this night heart something pertaining your heart if you are still thinking about it, you are not the person. Please, quickly. Salama, 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 Hallelujah. Ah, ah. See, there is a lady. Now, don't feel embarrassed at what I'm about to say. You see snakes in your bathroom ladies bathroom who is that person come out come out this has been an issue you have not shared it with people snakes you are you see it who is the person please salama salama yeah you are not the only one no you are not the only one this is the problem god god is ready to deliver you look this is a family are you listening to me this is not this is an apostolic ministry so there is we are here we are a family when god is mentioning your case forget about what what issue of shame issue of shame is out of the way hallelujah what's wrong with your heart asthma, asthma. is asthma really a heart this one i'm seeing a heart problem but I'll pray for you. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed. Listen. I'm going to pray for you people. God is doing it. Come out of her now. Out. Come out of her now. Devil of darkness. The time is up. Just hold my hands with both of your hands. The fire of God will hold it as tight as you can. It cannot stand, it will leave you. 
because you are destined for greatness once I see it in the spirit it must go for light cannot hide in darkness aha I see you now out go go kapotoka reketaria mambroskote reketeria daba boseketalia out come out of her out of her right now sarkin salama look at me two things god is doing hold my hands hold it do you believe you want god to set you free sarkin salama look at my eyes you just look at my eyes try to look at my eyes look at my eyes devil of darkness go there is no hiding for there is a name that is above every other name what did she come out for the same thing why were you afraid don't be afraid eh? you hear hold my hands hold my hands both of your hands look at me can you shout jesus as loud as you can go ahead salama you are free salama be delivered right now I set you free now do you know what is happening to this lady if I tell you some of you will not believe for every shout that she's making is demons that are going when she's done she'll be quiet <laughs> now leave her fire upon you right now out of her this lady has a great destiny this is a snake this is what i'm seeing this is a whole snake mighty snake the lord is against you let her go now That is above all names. Hold my hands, my dear. Hold my hands. No, I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. Come, hold my hands. I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. You people do not understand spiritual things. You are spiritual people here. Come, hold my hands. The demon knows what it means, what I'm saying. Salama, yeah. Salama. Hurry up, please save our time. We, we don't have much time. Salama. Hold my hands. Don't tap it. Hold it. Out now. Salama, yeah. Salama. Watch the way this demon will live. Come, see. Listen. You will go on your knees. You will bow to the king of kings and go. Simple. You will go on your knees, bow to the king, and off you go. Sir King Salama. 
Salama, Salama, yeah. Listen, this is not jamboree. As I see my father do it, don't go and try it. You will die for nothing. This is not child's play. Hallelujah. Don't you think we are just, no, I'm not one of those ministers. I can't come and waste your time. God is too serious. Are you listening to me? Now lift your hands. Many of you do not know. Listen. Please, now is the time to stand both for yourself. If you are a lady here, there is no reason why you should not be lifting your hands. Marriage is a blessing. It's not a curse. As I, as I talk, as I talk, because you see, I, I see a sword of fire leaving my mouth. I want to break certain demonic things. Many of you don't know what is stopping you and your loved ones. For some of you, it's a role in your family. Many people have told you nothing. Just, just hope one day. No, we don't do that nonsense in this place. Now, faith is. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. Listen. The moment we shout the name Jesus, some of you listen. You will testify. Whatever is happening to you here will locate all your loved ones around. Listen. The reason is because there are ordinances of darkness that are keeping some of you. Your parents took you to places in the name of protection and that devil will not let you go. The Lord instructed me to do this. Hallelujah. If you are here or your loved ones, there has been delay. Men come, they go. Or maybe you have a child and you are thinking you will not marry. That devil is a liar this night. Are you listening to me? So don't just stand for yourself alone. Don't say it does not concern me. Don't be foolish. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? You will see the demonstration of the power of the spirit. Kai, because see, I'm seeing blood. I'm seeing blood dripping on the ground. Let me tell you what this means. There are covenants and ordinances. This is what the Lord is showing me. But my Bible says the blood of Jesus speaketh better things. Better things. At the shout of the name Jesus. The demons responsible for any marital delay. God, you said if I speak it, you will do it. Right now, at the count of three, it will hit some of you in a mighty way. Inside and outside. Lord, let nobody be spared. One, two, three. Shall bring them out. Break, 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 the yoke be broken, the yoke be broken, the yoke, I release you, I release you, I release you, I release you. Every cause of marriage over your family tonight be free, be free, be free. Don't, don't take at her, don't take at her. Time to get married. Hey, bring them out. Don't wait till you come out. The power of God is setting you free where you are yes 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 ordinances i'm seeing altars on fire altars on fire altars on fire altars on fire i set them if i be a servant of god right now i set every demonic altar on fire It will burn tonight. Ho protocoto re 
Sheke Boko to pray, so pray to Hopos, Sheke Prekate, Hopos Kote, Prekate, Sheke, Sheke, I release you. I release your family. I release you inside and outside. I release you. I release you into your marital destiny. The curse is lifted. I release your sisters. I release your brothers. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I release you. I release you. I release you. Just receive, I release you. I release you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I got a text from someone. I mean, they brought someone who was sick. Who was that person? I can't remember now. A sick person. No, they sent, I remember they sent me a text that they would bring the sick person. Please save our time for God's sake. We're still going to minister to the sick. Hallelujah. Let that lady go free. Now devil. Let her go free now. Let her go free. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Let her go free right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Everybody say I receive. Yes, it's happening to you. Now, please listen. I want to pray for terminal diseases terminal diseases all kinds of terminal diseases please you brought someone or you came here with a terminal disease come out quickly terminal only terminal diseases please let's save time can we do that god is locating people there are some of you god has, god is already terminal diseases please come out quickly 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 i beg you if you can run run save time please please as you come out here say lord it comes i hope you know what terminal diseases are healing rain cry unto god wave that sickness bye bye because it's going forever i'm not afraid Hallelujah. Now all of you because of time. Listen. Can you just hold your hands together? 
if you can i'll just minister to you at once please if you came here believing god then know that it will end hallelujah there is an angel standing here and there is an angel of the Lord standing here please listen when we begin to minister to the sick if we call a case and you came with the person please make sure you come especially if the person cannot speak English for our mothers so that we can hurry up okay the power of God will come upon some of you but it really doesn't matter that devil is going right now the spirit is called the spirit of infirmity hallelujah after a country you will say i am healed when that happens it's like electricity it will pass with power all around this place are you ready now one two three Go, Porto. Be free. Go, 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 go. Coming out this is go. Go, 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 go. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Go, go. Go. Come back with testimonies. Come back with the testimony by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come back with the testimony. 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 I speak to you. All of you come back with a testimony come back with a testimony hallelujah say I'm healed go back to your seats you can check yourselves please make sure you check yourself Go to the hospital if you need. I know someone with HIV was healed. Anyone who has been, anyone with any CG, see the power of God is, is breaking from inside. Some of you are outside here, you are not receiving. People inside are receiving and they are leaving you. Listen, anyone with any academic issue that Senate has refused to answer, between now and the next 14 days, I command them to answer. Anyone who is at the verge of probation, listen, anyone at the verge of probation, I pick you from where you are and I bring you back as a student in this school. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm, thank you, Jesus. I want to pray for you. Any course you did not fail, listen, See, believe oh, any course you did not fail, but you went to the board and you saw F. I change it. I said I change it. I change it. I change it. I change it. Hallelujah. Any man, I don't care who, who is molesting and oppressing people in, every, in any department or any faculty, whether supervisor or whoever, I instruct them to begin to favor you now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now listen carefully. Those inside, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm standing out because... I want those outside to appreciate this meeting. Now, I'm going to pray for you. Some of you, I'm seeing chains on the heads of... We're dealing with academic issues now. 
Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to lift your hands. Many of you will feel like fire burning your head. If that weight, I'm going to count three. When that happens to you, listen, this one will affect a lot of people. There are some of you that are first class materials. But because of this wicked thing, you were excellent in secondary school. It's not that you are bad. Let me tell you, those days will be restored. Because listen, listen, listen. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. When I count three, inside and outside, with all your heart, shout, I receive. For some of you, that will be the last thing you will remember. Something will happen to you that will change your life. Are you ready now? Please, with all faith. One, two, three. Receive it now. Receive it. Take it. I restore you. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it. Inside, inside, take. Receive it inside. Receive it inside. Outside, receive it. Receive it inside. Take it inside. Take it inside. At the back, inside. The angel of the Lord is touching people. At the back, outside here. At the back, take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Many of you will go back now and your academics will surprise you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen. Listen, I want all of you to think about a cause that has been troubling you because I'm about to make it to bow now. Just listen, listen. I'm walking as God is. Just, just think of it in your mind just once and bring it under the Lordship of Christ because I'm about, to op I'm about to tell it to open up for you. Are you ready? It's already happening to this sister. Now listen, every department every faculty in Amadubello University, that course that is threatening you right now, when I shall bow, many of you feel as if your head will open up. Are you ready now? In the name of Jesus, bow! 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 In the name of Jesus, bow! Bow! In faculty of medicine, bow. Faculty of engineering, bow. Environmental design, bow. Education, bow. Social sciences, bow. Sciences, bow. All the faculties in Congo, bow. Every other faculty, bow. Anyone with a missing script. Problem of missing script. I stand tonight under this unction. And I command, wherever your paper is. Where, except you didn't write that exam. Wherever your paper is. Just as the donkey of Kish was found. I command that paper to be found now. Hallelujah. For all those whose assessments have been bad, listen, for this exam, for all those whose assessment have been bad, have been, uh, are bad, in the name of Jesus, I release makeup test, makeup assignment in the name of Jesus. May the Lord touch the hearts of the lecturers, no matter how hard they are. Hallelujah. All of you shout, I will, I will excel. Say it one more time, I will excel. I will excel. Say, excellence is my portion. Is my portion. Say, I Say, I refuse failure. Say, I refuse failure. I take you from past, from third class, I take you into 
some of you are atrocing. Let me tell you, any class you need to step up, I step you up right now. I know some of you are doubting. Do not doubt the creative power of God's word. It created the heavens and earth. I said I step you up, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For all those, whether you or your loved one, they've been writing jam after jam, wayek after wayek. You are looking for papers, it has refused to come. If God be God, if there is a God in this place, listen, those of you who are about to, whether jam, whether DE, you have papers that you need to make up. I stand as a servant of God. I give you the paper you are looking for. Those writing jam, I prophesy, write your last jam in the name of Jesus. Those writing whether wayek or whatever to make up. And there are some of you who are about graduating, but the papers you have are causing trouble. And right now you already have a problem at the Senate. Mercy, 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 you must graduate. You must graduate. Let something be done in your life that has not been done in this school. God is visiting people. Thank you, Jesus. God is opening people's files, I tell you. God is visiting people. Don't stand there doubting. God will bless others and leave you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything called mental blockage or exam fever, all this nonsense that comes on people you will read and even do tutorial for others in the name of jesus that spirit that makes you to forget things in the exam hall that you will only remember after you finish right right now i cast that spirit in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus. You cannot read like a slave. I forbid you from reading like a slave. In the mighty name of Jesus. I tell you, God is visiting people in a mighty way this night. God is visiting people in a mighty way. Hallelujah. In your academics, I don't care how bad it has been. I don't care what has happened from today. Step into that, that dream you saw that your, your results has never looked like it. You have been seeing it. Enter the reality of it. Many of you have dreams. You see four points, but you write exam and see one point. I curse that devil in the name of Jesus. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you, God is visiting people. Hallelujah. Now, please, everybody who is sick, you came here with any kind of disease. I'm about to rebuke it right now, please. We don't have time. Our time is fast spent. But God is going to visit inside. Are you still with me? Are you still with me inside? Now, those outside here, I want, I want to pray. Everybody lay your hands anywhere it's hurting. If it's a part of your body, you cannot lay your hands on, lay your hands on your chest. Whether fibroids, whether growths, whether cancer, whether blindness, whether deafness, whether lameness, whatever it is, I don't care. If it followed you here, it made a mistake because it's going to leave you right now. Are you listening to me? Some of you, what you call sickness is actually oppression. Because I see that there are many ladies with all kinds of sicknesses. People think you are careless, you are not. That devil will leave you. Hallelujah. Some of you have HIV. It's not like you slept around. You too, you don't know how it came. Some of you have all kinds of cancerous growth. There are people, they've told you, you, you cannot. I, I, after I finish this, I'm going to specially pray for barren people. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, listen. All of you inside, lift your hands. Lift your hands for that healing. 
I'm going to count three and the power of God will begin to come on sick people. Just those inside. Those inside. Hallelujah. The angels of God are moving inside. I see them. At the count of three inside. I tell you many sicknesses will disappear right now. The moment I count three, just take that hand and lay it where it's hurting. And start receiving your miracle. Are you ready? One, two, three. Receive right now. Take it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Now lay your hands there. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. Many of you are feeling like electricity. It's the healing anointing of the Holy Spirit. It's going through you. Begin to do what you couldn't do before. Those outside now, lay your hands there. Are you ready to receive? That devil will not follow you. Now in the name of Jesus, those outside here, receive. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Growth disappear. Terminal diseases go. Asthma go. Asthma go. Every deaf ear be open now. Every blind eyes be open. If your hair and one leg is shorter than the other, let the other one grow out now to equal sizes. In the name of Jesus. Every lady problem, every woman problem, irregular menstruation ends now. 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 The fire of God is burning. I tell you, the fire of God is burning. Every lump in the breast disappears now. Disappears now. Disappears now. Every growth in any part of your body. Every growth. I cause that growth to its root right now in the name of Jesus. I cause that growth to its root right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Any pain in any area of your body, I rebuke it. Any trace of mental disorder, whether for you or for your loved ones, wherever they are, and if you are here, let the power of God touch you now. Let the fire of God touch you now. Let the fire of God touch you now. Shake it, Kapa. Reke te koto to 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 baka. Ziko tu riapata. Zeke te. Let them go. Let them go. Out. 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 Every kind of mental problem, whether it has manifested or not. Out. 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 Go. Go. Every curse. Every covenant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, any woman here, or your sister, or you, who has been barren, please connect. Now is the time. We want to release miracle children right now. I don't know whether they have been barren for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. The Bible says, and God opened the womb of Hannah. Listen, I want you to stand. You are a lady here, you lived a promiscuous life. And then you found out that, okay, some things happened. Maybe you lost your womb or something. God is about to give you a new one right now. I don't care what the problem is. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want to curse barrenness and impotency. Low sperm count. All this demonic infertility, whatever. I, I don't care. If it has a name, it's going to answer this night. Are you ready? Everybody inside, make sure you are with me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Whether for you or for your loved ones, right now, my Father, in the name that is above all names, lift your hands. I pray. There are some of you, listen, some of you do not know that there are already projections of barrenness on you. It's just that you have not married yet. So don't say until you are married. The devil is wicked. God brought you to set you free. You'll be surprised. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, you're going to shout Jesus. And God is going to visit some people. There are some of you, God will visit you not for you, but on behalf of other family members. And I tell you, you will see people take in. Are you listening to me? Do you believe this? 
at the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus and you'll see what will happen. Are you ready? Thank you, Holy Ghost. At the count of three, let your power move across inside and outside. Are you ready? This will happen to many people because there is the curse of barrenness. And standing for anybody at the count of three, shout it with all your heart. Are you ready? One, two, three. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, Supokoto, Rekete Keriata, Barinas, go, 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 inside, inside, fire, fire is falling inside, outside, fire is falling, the curse of barrenness, Tokoto Peketa, for your loved ones, every barren woman, receive children, receive children, receive children, any impotency, Whatever it is, low sperm count, infertility, whatever it is in the name of Jesus, I curse it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Please stay with me. Sita kapala kosho prete. Zimbato krostu palakato sepete. Hallelujah. I want to pray and prophesy. We want to talk on the issue of finances right now. Everybody stand up and take this very seriously. We apologize for the lightning. I believe that maybe some hitches here and there. We'll soon round up. Hallelujah. While this is happening, please let's have all the prayer requests outside here. Look at me. See, listen, look up. The secret of financial blessing is in your giving life. Are you listening to me? I don't care what you are doing. The secret, if you are not a giver, whatever you are seeing now is only a deceit. It won't last. Are you listening to me? I want to minister to you. How many of you know that God is not glorified in anybody's poverty? How many of you are tired of the situation of some of your family members? You know, you know what? A, some of your parents, one job here, two months, they've driven them away. This is a curse. The problem is that pastors like sugarcoating things. They just say, oh, it's well. There is a difference between faith and foolishness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now I want to challenge you. Everybody, please hold a seat. Bring out a seat. You know us in this place. If you don't believe, don't bring it out. I want to break the curse of poverty. Don't you think, please, I, I, if you have something, share with your neighbor. Please, please, please. Bring out a seat. Don't murmur and grumble. Just keep your seat back, please. We are a blessed people. We are a blessed people. Look at me. Look at me, sister. Look at me. Tell her to look at me. Look at me. Just tell her to look at me. Don't worry. Leave her. Look at me. Come out of her. Devil of darkness. Ah, leave you alone. Praise God. See, while I was praying for this meeting, I saw this. Please listen. I saw a particular family. This is a revelation that the Lord showed me. And I saw them around the river. Hallelujah. Around the river with 500 naira. I don't know. I'm not going to mention them so that you don't think maybe I'm talking about a church or a ministry. We don't do that. But I saw some people seeming men of God or whatever around that they were trying to do something about financial prosperity. You see that? They killed chicken. They killed one other animal, I think goat or something. And they were invoking things on the person. And the Lord said, save this family. I saw it in the vision that the Lord showed me. There is nothing we will do here that God did not instruct. Hallelujah. Please, if you do not have a revelation of this, keep your money. You won't go to hell. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bring out something and connect it. I want to pray for you. You will lift it up. 
Hallelujah. Inside and outside, just lift it up. People are oppressed. Ah, people are oppressed. Listen, just lift it. Many of you, the fire will fall on you and your sacrifice. It will fall on you. See, it's poverty I want to attack. It's a spirit. Don't be mistaken about it. It's already happening to people. Everybody lift it. Please, make sure there is a seed. It will be your contact. Clash the symbol for me, please. At the clash of the symbol. Are you ready now? My father, I pray. It's your desire to prosper us. People have suffered. Families have suffered. Right now, spirit of poverty. Go. 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 Keep the offering up. Go. 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 For your family, I burn that spirit of poverty. It's a cause. Leave God's people. Poverty causes laziness. Poverty causes lack of failure. Lift your seed. It's your sacrifice. My God and my King. If God be God, I pray. Poverty be broken. In the name of Jesus. Be broken. So protocoto reketekete rekoto preketeka jobless go 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 Hallelujah to me my people made a covenant with me by sacrifice. I command doors of uncommon, unusual, inexplainable and sharp prosperity. Let it be open now for you and for your family. That joblessness ends now. Mm, God is visiting families. God is visiting families. Any contract that has been revoked right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, I return it back to your loved ones. The curse of poverty be broken. Don't say I'm a student. Become rich in the name of Jesus. Become rich, blessed, wealthy. I program your spirit as surely as the Lord lives. God is visiting people. Twenty-one angels standing in this place. I don't know what I'm seeing. I'm seeing it, the whole of this place. The whole of this place. Lift your hands because God is about to visit you. Some of you, it's not just financial issues. God will join everything and visit you. As soon as I shout, receive it. Right from here, down to this row. This is what God is showing me. The power of God will come in a strong way. Lift your hands, all of you. In the name of Jesus, at the count of two. Just two. The wind will blow. One, two. Let it blow right now. Take it. 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 Don't wait till you fall. This has nothing to do with falling. It has nothing to do with falling. Receive by faith. Hallelujah. The Lord is visiting people. I don't know what the case is, but when I touch you, just know God is visiting you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The angels of the Lord are pointing people to me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Aha. Now, out of her. Come out. 
Come out of her. Seko topa. Your time is up. Your spirit. Out. Out now. Pain go. Come out. Supo koto pekata likata. Dom bretons ke banda kriata. Lord, visit them. Ushers, help me. Visit them. Please help them. Help them. Ushers, so that they don't fall down one another. Visit them. Visit them. Zidaba. God is visiting your mother right from the States. Oh, no, in UK. God is visiting her right now. Hallelujah. Madam. God is about to locate you. Stand up, please. Stand up. Your time of breakthrough has come. Come and stand here, please. I don't know you, but look at me. Three things the Lord is going to do for you. Number one, God is going to change your financial story in a way that will surprise you. Number two, who is sick? Somebody is seriously sick in your family. It's my husband. I have. It's your husband. Because this is what I'm seeing. This is what is sugar. Sugar. Yes, yes. What is sugar? What is sugar? I'm hearing sugar. Diabetes. Diabetes. Yes. Do, do I know him? Have I met your husband? I'm hearing sugar. The Holy Spirit is telling me sugar. Diabetes. Is that correct? I'm, I'm BP. BP. I'm BP. Look at me. The third thing God is going to do. Are, are you building? Are you building? Madam, look at me. Are you Yes. The Lord is saying that building will be completed. Yeah. These three things. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Because you have lifted this seed. Many of you, see. Father, visit her right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Visit families by the power of the Holy Ghost. Visit families. In the name of Jesus. See, I tell you, I'm not going to touch everybody. But if I do touch you, just know that God has visited you. It doesn't matter what the situation is. It will bow to the name of Jesus Christ. Bring this sister for me, this one. Yes, come. Did I lay hands on you? It's time for God to visit you. Are you listening to me? Take it. It's over. Whatever it is, it's over. Right now. This fair lady, come, please. I don't know what is it. Come. Don't see. You people should not be angry at God. God, it, I must not touch you. Do you understand? You can see that we don't have all of the time. Eh? Look at me. I'm going to end a lot of things in your life. Seven things in total. One by one, God is going to show you. Five of them. You wrote... You wrote seven prayer points. Yes, sir. How many prayer points did you? Seven. The Lord says seven things is visiting you and is bringing on. Was I there when you wrote it? Seven things you wrote. Seven things the Lord is visiting them. Lord, that is it. It ends right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Seven things the Lord is visiting you. Somebody wrote 13 prayer points. 13. 13. 13. You wrote 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 13. Who is that? Come. You are the one. Come. Was I there when you were writing it? 13 prayer points. 13 prayer points. What did you write about your father? My family. Yes. Peace in my family. Peace in your family. There is fight. Was I there when you wrote it? What did you write about the issue of money? Last week when I went home, my sister was complaining that there is... Because I'm seeing the Lord is showing me your prayer points. That's why I'm reading it to you. Was I there? There's no money. You went home. Even transport to come back. Follow somebody. Somebody gave me a lift. This is, I, I, God said I should do it to prove to you that this is not just guesswork. My God, in the name of Jesus, locates this lady. Your situation ends once and for all. Regina, 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 Regina. Who is Regina? Regina. Ah. No, Regina. Don't miss your miracle. You are Regina. You. Ah. No, this Regina is here. Your name is Regina. Where is your mother? She's in Lagos. What's wrong with her? I don't know. Pray for your mother. Huh? Because this is an attack I'm seeing on her. Huh? This is an attack I'm seeing on her. Be careful. 
Don't let any lecturer talk stories and ask you to come and visit him in the night. Does it make sense to you? Yes, sir. Does it make sense to you? Believe it. Huh? And then get into God with all your heart. Are you listening to me? I want to pray for you. This lackadaisical Christian attitude become a genuine Christian right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Grace to pray. Grace. Taiwo, God is visiting your mother. Just look at me. God is visiting your mother. Lord, visit her in the name of Jesus Christ. Right from here. Just as a point of contact, God is touching her in Lagos. Visit her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Visit her. This, this girl, eh? Bring this lady crying. Lord, end this captivity in the name of Jesus. This lady's family do a lot of diabolic things. Are you listening to me? And they have put they have put things in this girl as a medium. This girl you are seeing, she's not the person you are seeing standing here. Hmm? This girl is very old. She's not as young as you are seeing, as in, I mean in the spirit realm. I'm seeing somebody that is up to 800 years old. Hallelujah. Are you seeing, look at, look at this. Bring her. This is what is wrong. They, they invoke spirits of ancestors into this girl. Come and stand here. Because they did it in such a way. Listen, they did it in such a way. And this is the invocation that no matter how much you are a man of God, you will not see it. This is what they did. Look at, I've seen it. I'm seeing it in the spirit. Look at, this is why this cry is happening. They, they programmed it. I don't know how it is. Many men of God have attended to this lady. They didn't see it. I don't know why. Because as I'm standing now, I'm seeing a tree. This is a tree I'm seeing. A very tall tree. Keep quiet. This lady, you see, she doesn't even know if this lady gets angry, she can beat even five guys put together. Are you listening to me? She, 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 she will, I mean, beat you and put you on the ground that you will cry. Even her, right from a small age, she has been seeing this strange power. This is not normal. I need to rebuke that. Some of you are like that. You just think it's your family. You beat all your classmates in nursery school. Beat all your classmates. In, you are happy about it. Hallelujah. I have to set this girl free. I'm seeing rings on her legs, rings on her hands, huh? ring on her eyes, even on her eyes here. What kind of nonsense is this rubbish thing? Hmm? Keep quiet. This noisy spirit. You will go out now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hmm? Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Huh? Two of us won't be talking. You are going to leave. There is a legal access that is given to you. But the Bible says the captives of the mighty shall be delivered. And listen, leave her. Please leave her. Don't hold her. Look at me. Listen. Behave yourself right now. I'm going to rebuke this some it will create a ripple effect on all our family members because they mentioned their names as they were killing chicken this is what i'm seeing one by one they will mention their names and kill chicken leave her leave her leave her leave her come back just leave her she will come back by herself this thing is more than 800 years this is what i'm telling you am i wasting your time Am I wasting your time? Leave her, leave her. 
When she's done, she'll come and stand here. These are demonic things. Don't be distracted by all this drama. Let's concentrate on what God is doing, please. Mama, come. Come and stand here. Your time of visitation has come. I don't know what you came here for. Eh? Your time of... What did you come here for? You are barren. Is that... Yes, sir. You are barren. How many years? 13 years. I'm seeing one and three. Mm -hmm. How many years? 13 years. 13 years. You have been barren. Your, your, your situation has come to an end. Yeah. Hallelujah. Lay your hands on your stomach. What did the doctors tell you is in your stomach? Nothing. They will do scan, nothing. But you are feeling movement in your body. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. In the night when you are sleeping, it will be as if a man wants to sleep with you. Yes, sir. A man comes to sleep. Yes, and it has even affected your relationship. Yes, sir. Eh? You don't even have affection for him. Yes, yes. Do you know me? No. Have you ever seen me? No. Your time of freedom has come this night. Because this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a stone, a stone inside your stomach. You used to have pain when you sleep. Sharp pain. This is a stone I'm seeing. Hmm? This thing is a demonic thing. Lay your hands. I open this womb right now. Let the womb take in by the power of... Take it right now. All right, it's time for you to go. Now, in the name of Jesus, I challenge you, come and stand here. There's no time. See, demons can distract. If you waste time on them, they are going to distract you. Are you listening to me? All these things are distractions. Learn this. This is not just a place to receive. It's a place to learn. Many people focus. I'm not against all of but it's not necessary. We don't have all of this time. Are you listening to me? Come and stand here. Quickly come and stand here. It was finance, right? Okay. Let God solve somebody's problem right now. Listen. I release you into financial blessings. 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 Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes is going to come. Bishop Stan is going to come. They are going to speak prophecies into you. Hallelujah. I wish we had time. But as they speak, please receive. Hallelujah. They will speak and while I go up there. When they are done, we'll come and pray on your request. Can you wait a few more minutes? Can you wait a few minutes? Pastor Jackson. Okay. Please, ushers, just cast your offering. Cast your offering quickly. Ushers, all over. If there are no ushers, just be patient. Inside and outside. Please make sure you drop your money to only ushers. Hallelujah. Please lift up your hands. There's no time. Join your hands with Bishop and as we pray, whatever you desire, okay? Whatever giftings you've been trusting God to unlock in your life, whatever dimension of God you've been trusting God to push you into, as we pray corporately, the presence of God, and the oil of God will be poured upon you in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you in Jesus' name. I give you praise in the name of Jesus. Even as you have declared through your servant. Lord, as we cast this seed, may it be an end to poverty and financial hardship. In the name of Jesus. You cause doors to be opened. For every family represented here in Jesus' name. We stand in agreement and rebuke devourer in the name of Jesus. Devourers in form of sickness, in form of accident, we rebuke you in Jesus' name. We set everyone free. Enter into your financial liberty in the name of Jesus. Marital liberty. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Let me invite the ministers as we pray on the request. If you've not written your request, please write it here quickly. I want to, after this, I'm going to be inviting Uneko and his wife who are going to be dedicating and praying for their child. Hallelujah. And any other woman with child here, you're going to come out with your child. We're going to pray and speak protection after I do that very quickly. Hallelujah. Please. Very quickly. Stretch your hands while you are seated. You don't need to stand up. Stretch your hands as we pray on this request. Go ahead and pray. Father, we pray that you visit your people. Visit your people, oh God. Visit your people. Visit your people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, visit families in the name of Jesus. Grant every spiritual blessing that your people are asking for. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We pray that every prayer point here, Lord, is answered in the name of Jesus. We release the angels of God to bring answers and solutions to needs in the name of Jesus. Let breakthroughs come, academic blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for businesses. We ask that prayer points here about businesses, that the Lord will open up doors in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask for healing. We release the healing of God upon your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We bring salvation into your family. The Lord visits your family in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord blesses you with peace joy in the name of jesus christ of nazareth refreshing comes from the presence of the lord refreshing comes from the presence of the lord in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every closed gate is open in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every dark cloud is rolled away in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father we thank you we give you praise we celebrate you in our lives in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah put your hands together for the lord Hallelujah. Please quickly, quickly, quickly. All the children, quickly, quickly. Please save time. We just have about five minutes or so and we're out of. Celebrate them as they come. If you know God will give you children. Please come and line up here quickly, quickly. Great are you, Lord. Greatly to be praised. All the earth will sing. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, let me pray. Please, Uneku, come up with your wife. How many of you remember them? Worship team. Come on, celebrate your own. Technical, celebrate your own too. See, they're all seated together. Is that where they met? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody stretch your hands towards them. This baby is a miracle baby. I tell you. I was there in the hospital. I didn't even know the baby was on the bed. I said, where is the baby? Hallelujah. Stretch your hands and pray. Rebuke the hand of Satan. Do it as though you are praying for your own child. Rebuke the hands of Satan. This baby is blessed. Growing normally. Daddy and mommy are healthy. In the name of Jesus. We dedicate this child in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. This child will grow in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and with men. We command this child to be an ambassador. We program his destiny to glorify Christ alone. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray for peace in this house. This will only be the first child and not the only child. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor Jakes and Bishop Stan, can I invite you just to come and lay hands on these children? Hallelujah. As we lay hands, all three of us will lay hands. You just lay hands. I'll come back and lay hands on them. As we lay hands on the children, we rebuke the hands of Satan. We rebuke the hands of Satan. No, let me lay hands on them before they go. We are, we are doing it, all of us, please. Very quickly, these are instructions that God is giving. We are not just doing these things carelessly. Any child, any one child that has anything that is not of God, we cancel it right now. We cancel it right now. Eh? In the name of the Lord Jesus, may the Lord visit this child. Let his hearing be perfected. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. See how wicked Satan can be. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. These children are blessed. Where is he? Bring him. The boy ran away. Because this boy wants to kill himself. It's the spirit that wants to kill him. Where is he? I tell him to stand but he went. You see what I told you spirits. He ran away to where? Wherever he is right now. In the name that is above all names. May the Lord visit him. You will go back and you will come and testify. Hmm? I'm seeing the fire of God on him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord visits him. You are standing on his behalf. In Jesus name. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Uh -uh. Come out of this girl. Devil of darkness. May the Lord bless you. Madam, God is really visiting your family. May the Lord. Uh, you came out for yourself. Or for your child. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I prophesy upon your life. Please stand up, everybody. Be rounding up now. Every closed door. In the name that is above all names. I open it right now. Every door of failure and disappointment. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let that door be open now. I pray right now. Any voice that is speaking against you and your destiny, I command those voices to be silenced right now. Whatever is stopping your spiritual development, whatever is stopping your passion for God, one leg in, one leg out, I pray, I release encounters to your life. Encounters with angels. Encounters of heaven. Visions and revelations. Dramatic encounters with Jesus Christ. I pray for the spirit of prayer. May it come upon you in a mighty way. Who is this? Oh, see the boy is back. Come. Look at me. How are you? The Lord will set you free. Huh? You love Jesus. Look at me, look at me. You love Jesus. Do you like what happens to your life? Huh? Are you tired of it? Look at me. Are you tired of it? Huh? You want to be free from it? Huh? Madam, it's not this boy that is doing these things. Are you listening to me? This is a suicidal spirit. Huh? This is demonic. Because this boy is destined to be great. Are you seeing... And this is why the devil wants to destroy him. Hmm? Look at me, my brother. Why did you go away? Okay. He doesn't even know why he left. Hallelujah. The mighty name of Jesus Christ, that devil of darkness. Your time in this boy's body is over. The fire of the Holy Ghost against you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm praying for you right now. Who is Bulus? It's his uncle. Bulus is his uncle. Do, you, do I know Bulus? Where is he? Hold my hands. Father, 
I pray that the wickedness of men will not catch up with this boy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, my God and my King, I pray for a dramatic visitation. Look at me. Look at me. Go to church. Join a fellowship. Huh? These bad guys that are around you, they will destroy you. I cancel your appetite for them. They are, they, are trying to, they are trying to introduce you into wheat and all of this nonsense. You will not have appetite for any of these things. Hmm? You will become an obedient and a respectful child. This hardened heart this night has been replaced with the heart of stone. Salvation comes to this family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rehila. Who is Rehila? Do you know anybody called Rehila? What is, I mean, well, I'm hearing the name Rehila. This is your daughter? Come. How are you, my dear? Hold my hands. See a mystery. I'm going to be praying for you. But is that your sister that is going, hold, hold on, don't tell me. I, I don't want you to tell me. Hmm? Don't tell me, don't worry. That's your sister, dear. I'm seeing light. It's leaving you and it's entering. I'm going to pray for you, but the prayer is going to affect her. Hold my hands. I set you free right now. I set you free right now. Lose, lose her from that chain. Be loose right now. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit. There is deliverance going on in your family right now. I don't know why this is happening, but God is bringing you. Forward. Thank you, Jesus. Brother, look at me. Please be a gentleman, okay? Be a gentleman. Love God. Be serious with your life. You are a healer. Okay. Well, you came out. Let me pray for you. The, the Lord is not giving me anything exactly. What do you want the Lord to do for you? Ah, you don't know. I'll just pray generally for you. Go. Is that okay? Lay your hands on your chest. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I command favor to your life. I command favor. Favor. Favor is one blessing that the Lord has given us here. I release it into your life right now. Whatever has been a challenge for you, may God speak it. Listen, when God speaks over your situation, that's all it ends. If you are here, I didn't call your case, but you came with an expectation right now in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. May the Lord visit you at that point of your need. Every habit here that is not of God, masturbation, pornography, all of these devilish things that are destroying people, I cast it out of your life forever. Amen. I cast it out of your life forever. Amen. It will not return again. I cast it out. I cast it out of your life. Every form of immorality that stops you from entering the dimension God wants to take you, I release grace upon you. To walk in genuine holiness and purity. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your parents and your loved ones. As God visits you here, may he visit them. As God visits you here, may he visit them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As we step into the seventh month, may it be a time of perfection for you. May it be a time of perfection for you. May it be a time of perfection for you. What you have not accomplished from January to June, accomplish it in July. I command promotion. I command promotion. All of you in ministry, I pray that you will see a greater anointing in your ministries. I release greater fire in your fellowships, in your churches, 
in your ministries let devils be casted out let the sick be healed let sinners be saved in the name of the lord jesus christ i command increase and expansion for ministries here in the name of the lord jesus christ all of you planning for marriage i command whatever resource you need i release it for you even if the man has not come i bring him into your life even if the woman has not come i bring her into your life in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah now inside and outside this is an opportunity for those who have never given their hearts to the lord please stand up everybody keep standing please hallelujah the greatest miracle that can happen in this place is that you are translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of god's dear son you have seen the miracles and all of these things but there are many of us that need to make a decision for the lord jesus christ hallelujah and right now as we begin to clap i'll count one to five praise god inside and outside please give them space inside and outside i want you to come before the lord here you've never given your heart to the lord or you made a decision for jesus once you made a decision for jesus once but you found yourself derailing please come out and stand here in the name of jesus please leave your seat and come out appreciate them they are coming god bless you please rush rush run 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 don't be afraid God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. Don't be ashamed inside and outside. God bless you as you come. They are coming. Koinonia, celebrate them. Outside, make sure you don't stay back. Don't let any devil rob you of the greatest blessing. Keep coming. Keep coming. Young and old, keep coming. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, when I do this, Selena and my sister and their roommates, please you come and stand. I'll pray for you. Hallelujah. All of you. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands, those of you in front. Thank you so much for coming. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I love you. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose again for me. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I'm born again. I'm saved. Jesus is Lord of my life. I denounce sin and Satan. From today, the Holy Spirit lives in me. I have eternal life and the gift of righteousness. And I will reign in this life. And I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, that I'll never be the same again. My life is transformed in the name of Jesus. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain.